In changing hooks on crankbaits, do you have a rule of thumb for the size that you put on there? Good morning guys and girls, March 1, March 1, we're looking at, oh my gosh, look at what we're looking at, John 3, 16. Everybody now repeat after me, God so loved the world, that's right, we all know that verse. God so loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost but have eternal life. Oh my, this is the front row verse to most Americans. People that have never read a verse of the Bible have seen John 3.16. We see the guy with the funny hair hold John 3.16 posters up at many sporting events. I've even seen him at the Bassmaster Classic. I don't know if it's the same guy that does it all the time or not because, you know, you see him at Dodger Stadium and then you might see him the next day at Yankee Stadium in New York. But it is the salvation verse. The entire gospel, the entire gospel of how to be saved is right here. Whoever believes in him may not be lost, but have eternal life. God loved, he gave, we believe, and we have eternal life with him in the greatest place that God's ever created. We're saved because God loved us. You hear that? We're not saved because we're good people. We're not saved because we're funny or look good or handsome or ugly. We're saved because God loved us. We're saved because He loved us. He gave His Son to pay for our sin. God sent Jesus Christ, His Son, to earth for one single purpose, to die on that cross. Now, in Jesus' 33 years, He did an amazing thing. He walked on water. He fed thousands with a little boy's fish, a couple of fish, a couple of pieces of biscuits. He raised people from the dead, made blind people see, made lame people walk. But the main thing he did was die on that cross and pay for your sin and my sin. When we say we believe, that means more than simply believing that there is a God or that there is a Jesus. The word believe also means trust. It means trust and trusting in Him. We trust in Him, we receive life eternal with God. That's how simple the gospel actually is. Wow, isn't that amazing? And God's asking constantly, do you trust me? Do you trust me? If we trust him, that's what it takes to have eternal life forever in heaven with Jesus Christ. Most of us have had friends and family members go on to heaven before us. They're waiting for us to show up. I know my mom and dad knows that one of these days I'm going to come strolling through those pearly gates, walk down that gold. I'm going to take my shoes off because that gold is going to be warm by the heavenly warmth of God himself. Here's a tip for this week. With most crankbaits, and here's my rule of thumb, you can move to one size larger hooks, treble hooks, without hurting that bait. You can move to one size larger. So, and that's what most of us do in crankbait fishing in tournaments is we move up to one size larger hooks. Now, if that throws that bait where it doesn't have really good action or it causes that bait to sink when you don't want it to sink, you might just change the front hook or the back hook only. The front hook or the back hook only. And uh, I think if you're going to change one hook, the front hook's the best one if you're going to move it up to a larger size. As you move to larger sizes on crankbaits, particularly smaller crankbaits, it's really going to affect that bait. So you got to be really careful. But on most everything that's made, you can move up to one size larger hook. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. March. It's March. We can just go out there and smoke them just about all over the south. If you live in the north and your water's still hard, get in your truck, drive 800 miles until your navigation system shows blue on it. Get out and look for your place to fish. Guys and girls, I love you.